Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, this is Raz, and in this video, we will discuss about how to compute the estate tax for married dissident. So if you're ready, let's jump in. So in our previous video, we have discussed already how to compute the estate tax for single unmarried dissidents. In this video, we're going to talk about how about the estate tax of a married dissident. Okay, so our legal basis in imposing and computing a tax, an estate tax, is according to Section 84 of the National Internal Revenue Code, or our tax code, as amended by RA 10963. It said that there shall be levied, assessed, collected, and paid upon the transfer of the net estate as determined in accordance with the Sections 85 and 86 of every resident, whether resident or non-resident of the Philippines, at the tax rate of 6% based on the value of such net estate. So it is very clear that um, the imposition of estate tax is flat rate 6%. Whether you are a resident citizen, non-resident citizen, resident alien, or non-resident aliens, it is always 6%. Prior to um, the train law, prior to the amendment of R18963, the estate tax is actually a graduated tax rate. Okay? So today, it is very much simple and not complicated because it is after you have computed the net taxable estate, you just multiply by 6%. Okay, so here's an example, an illustration of a married dissident. So we are given Juan, married to Maria, died living the following properties. So they have family home, which is a communal property, by the way, uh, valued at 13 million pesos. We also have exclusive personal properties of 10 million 600 pesos and exclusive real properties inherited from his mother one and a half years ago which is valued at 5 million pesos we also have communal properties 11 million 400 and deductions claimed so unpaid mortgage and real property inherited and the mortgage assumed at that time was 800 pesos but the balance now at the time of his death is 200 thousand pesos so um there was in exclusive properties um real properties inherited from his mother one and a half years ago which is five million okay so this real properties exclusive pro real properties were actually subjected already to estate tax um at the time of inheritance one and a half years ago and at that time there was a mortgage assumed by Juan that was eight hundred thousand pesos but today after one and a half years the balance of the mortgage is only 200,000 pesos. Therefore, we can say that Juan, on the duration of one half year before his death, has already paid a total of 600,000 pesos. Okay? So, we're going to use that um, information in the computation of the vanishing deduction. So, since this mortgage is related to a real property inherited, and we know that this real property inherited was exclusive therefore this mortgage will also be exclusive okay we also have here unpaid obligations and it is 1.5 million and we cannot trace we cannot say whether this is communal or exclusive therefore our general assumption is that this obligation has been had been contracted um for the benefit of the couple so hence this unpaid obligations will be deducted from the communal properties we also have losses on communal properties occurred three months after death due to fire with insurance of hundred thousand pesos so we know that for a loss for any loss to be deductible from the gross estate the loss should have been incurred after the death of the dissident but before the last day of filing or the settlement of the estate so since these losses uh, incurred after three months or three months after his death due to fire we can deduct this loss as a communal deduction okay however the extent or the amount to be deducted from the communal gross estate 
will only be 400,000 because there was already an insurance and the 400 is still not recovered by the insurance. So that is the amount that is only deductible from the communal gross estate. We also have the nation Mortis Causa to city government of Makati and this is from exclusive properties. Okay, so it is already mentioned that this uh, donation Mortis Causa to city government is from exclusive properties and actually this is a transfer for public use. So 780,000 pesos. So we are going to solve um, this problem we are going to compute the SA tax for this problem. So, step one, we are going to compute first the gross estate. Of course, that is the that is really the first step. Compute the gross estate. So, we will classify our properties whether exclusive and communal because for the sake of computation of the share of the surviving spouse later on. Okay? So, we have family home and the problem said it is communal. Therefore, we will deduct this from, I mean, we will add this from the communal property so we also have exclusive personal properties this 10 million six hundred okay that is exclusive and then exclusive real properties inherited from his mother that is five million pesos and then communal properties eleven million four hundred thousand so that is communal so therefore the total gross estate is 40 million pesos with the following breakdown so exclusive is 15,600 and communal is 24,400, okay? So after we have computed the gross estate, we can now proceed to the computation of the ordinary deductions. Under step two, we will compute the ordinary deduction except the vanishing deduction because we are yet to compute how much is the vanishing deduction. Therefore. Um, there are five ordinary deductions. These are the losses, indebtedness, and taxes, or the lit. And we also have the transfer public use and the vanishing deduction. So these are the five ordinary deductions. And in step two, we are going first to compute the ordinary deductions, the four, the first four items, except the vanishing deduction because we are yet to compute the vanishing deduction. So, again, we will classify the deduction whether exclusive or communal. And we have unpaid mortgage and real property. And we know the real property was inherited. So, therefore, this should be connected to exclusive property. Hence, deductible from the exclusive gross estate. Okay? And we also have unpaid obligation. And we cannot trace which properties these obligations are related therefore we will assume these are from the communal properties and then we also have losses on communal properties again it is already said that is from communal properties so we will deduct that from the communal properties and then donation to Makati it was mentioned already that the donation was a personal property therefore I mean exclusive property therefore we can deduct that from the exclusive property okay so our total ordinary deductions before the vanishing deduction is 2,880,000 exclusive we have 980,000 and then communal we have 1,900,000 okay so we are going to use this information later on when we compute the vanishing deduction so in our step three we, we are going to compute the vanishing deduction so we will first identify the initial basis and that is the lower of the fair value at a time of transfer this one and a half years ago or at a time of death which is today okay so the fair value at a time of transfer the problem is silent there was no given data and then the fair value at time of death is 5 million so we can say that we will use the 5 million okay if the problem is silent we were going to use this Okay, but if there's there was a given data, therefore you choose whichever is lower. And then after we have determined the initial basis, we're going to determine whether there are any more gauge paid. So the problem said that at the time of transfer one and a half years ago, there was a mortgage assumed by Juan from the mother and that was 800,000 pesos. And at the time of his death, Juan, the mortgage balance is just 
200,000. Therefore, we can say that there was already a payment of 600,000 pesos. So we will deduct that 600,000 from the initial basis to get the new initial basis of 4,400,000. And after we have determined the new initial basis, we can now um, allocate or proportionate the ordinary deductions, the lit plus TPU plus the transfer for public use. Remember in our previous video lecture about how to compute vanishing deduction, we need to reduce the new initial basis by the, a proportion of the losses, indebtedness, and taxes in a transfer for public use. Okay, so we have here, you're going to deduct the portion of lit and TPU. So the new initial basis divided by the total gross estate multiplied by the total ordinary deductions. That is the lit and the transfer for public use. So that was 2,880,000. So, 4,400,000 divided by 40,000,000 times 2,880,000. So, we will get 316,800. So, therefore, this portion is now deducted from the new initial basis to get the final basis of 4,083,200 pesos. Okay? So, this amount will be multiplied by a rate. If you can recall, in our previous video lecture, we are given a rate, a table, and it was said that when the date of transfer and the date of death is just within a year, 100% of the final basis is deductible as vanishing deduction. But when the date of transfer and the date of death is more than one year, but not more than two years, so the rate applicable is only 80%, meaning only 80% of this final base amount will be deducted from the gross estate as a vanishing deduction. But when the date of transfer and the date of death is more than two years, but not more than three years, therefore 60% and so on. Okay. So in this case, since the date of transfer is just one and a half years ago from the date of death of Juan. Therefore, we are going to use 80%. Okay? Only 80% of these 4 million can be deducted as vanishing deduction. And that is 3,266,560 pesos. So we have now the vanishing deduction. So we can now go to the computation of the estate tax under step four so in step four we're going to use we are going to compute the estate tax so we're going to recall first our computations in step one two and three okay so we have family home communal okay and exclusive and then real properties and communal properties so in our step one we have computed already the gross estate, okay? And we have determined that the exclusive gross estate is 15,600,000 and the, the communal gross estate is 24,400,000. Therefore, the total gross estate is 40 million pesos. In our step two, we also computed the ordinary deductions. We have the unpaid mortgage and real property, which is, by the way, classified as exclusive property. Therefore, we will um, deduct this mortgage, unpaid mortgage, from the exclusive property, which is 200,000 pesos, by the way. And we also have unpaid obligations, as in our step two, deducted from the communal properties and losses on communal properties. And of course, donation to Makati, and that is 780,000. And remember, in our step three, we have determined the vanishing deduction, okay? So, vanishing deduction is related to inheritance and the property was classified as exclusive property. Therefore, the vanishing deduction should also be classified as, um, yes, an exclusive deduction. That's 3,266,560 pesos. Therefore, our net estate after deducting ordinary deduction is... 
pesos. So we have exclusive net estate after deducting ordinary deductions and we have also communal properties. Um, I mean communal estate. So we have not yet deducted the special deductions. So we will now deduct the standard that is 5 million pesos and also the family home. The family home is classified as communal property, therefore we're going to divide that by 2, so that's 6,500,000, and compare whichever is higher, the 6,500,000 or the 10 million, okay? And we don't have our A4917, therefore that's it. We are going also to deduct the share of the surviving spouse, okay? So how do we do that? That is 22 million five hundred divided by two that is the net communal estate after deducting the ordinary deductions uh, divided by two so eleven million two fifty therefore the net taxable estate of one is eleven million and hundred three thousand four hundred forty so we can we will now multiply this amount that eleven million hundred three by six percent so our estate tax due will be 11,103,414 multiplied by 6%. So our estate tax due is 666,206 pesos and 40 centavos. So this is the estate tax of Juan as a married dissident. Actually, that's it. After you have computed the net taxable estate, you just multiply by 6%. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, click the bell, so you'll be notified whenever I will upload new videos. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Bye!